people of the internet, one year later I'm doing another Hypixel former recipe remake. I said that weird. Today we are making the curried egg sandwich. The thread was literally posted a year ago and I'm finally getting around to doing it. You will need eggs, check, mayonnaise, check, curry powder, check. Got that specifically to make this video. I never use this stuff. This better be good or my money's wasted. Iceberg lettuce, check. White bread, check. Salt and pepper, these fancy little things. All right, so we got all this stuff, except uh, unlike with the apple crisp thread, they didn't specifically say that I need a fork, but I have all that ready. Okay, for step one, we have to prepare the lettuce. And then for step two, it has prepared the eggs. But for time management and multitasking, as I've learned from work, we're gonna start the eggs first and let them cook while we prepare the lettuce. It just makes more sense. In the recipe, it says six eggs, and this is for two sandwiches. Um, I do not, why are there two random white eggs? I, I don't eat a lot, so we're just gonna make one sandwich. Just gonna make sure they are good first, and there is actually a method for this. The way you make sure eggs are good, you get a cup of water. You put an egg in there. If they sink, they're good. So this one is good. We just got these. Okay, that, that one definitely sunk. That one thunk. But this works because when they're going bad, they have like gases in them. That's why they float when they're bad. That one definitely sunk. So, okay, so these are bad. We're gonna get rid of those. We're going to fill this pot a little bit with water so that the eggs will be fully submerged in it. That's good enough, I'm gonna take that back out. And it says on here to put the heat on high. We have the water heating up now. Once it's boiling, we're gonna put the eggs in there and boil them for seven minutes and then turn off the heat. Usually when we make hard boiled eggs in this house, we put the eggs in there at this stage, let the water heat up and once it's boiling, we turn, it, turn the heat off and let them boil, but I'm gonna follow the recipe how it says. Uh, where's the mitt, 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 where's the mitt? So our water's boiling, and from hard lessons learned, we're gonna put a mitt on to uh, take this lid off. On. So put our eggs in here. I'm gonna use this little thing, cause obviously I'm not touching boiling water. And once they're all in there, we're gonna set a timer for seven minutes. It's gonna be hard for me to not turn the light off because I'm used to doing that when I boil eggs. But apparently not everybody, you know, does it that way. Okay. Alexa, set a timer for seven minutes. Seven minutes, starting now. Okay, so when that timer is off, we're gonna take our little eggies out. As it says on here, where is it, where is it, where is it? To put them in cold water with ice. So I'm gonna at least get the water ready. And as we get closer to the end of the timer, I'm going to add the ice to it. When we take them out of the water, put them directly in here to stop the cooking process. And then we'll leave them in here for a few minutes before we take them out and put them on a towel to dry. Okay, so as I said in the beginning, we're gonna start ripping up some of this lettuce. I'm gonna put it in this bowl. And I don't usually put a lot of lettuce on my sandwiches, my egg sandwiches anyway. And it also said to wash it, but I never, ever wash lettuce, like, ever. Just like when I made the apple crisp last year, I didn't even wash the apples in the beginning because I was peeling them anyway. I'm, not, I'm totally a master chef right now, just picking up the lettuce and just ripping it with my hand instead of chopping it. We're going to put the ice in this water now since these eggs are going to be ready, like, any minute. Alexa, stop! Okay, turn off the heat. I'm gonna pretend that didn't just trip on my foot. That hurt really bad. Okay, we take these out. On the recipe, it said to put the eggs somewhere else, drain the pot, and then put the cold water in the pot. I, I don't know. I've never done it that way. It's just easier to do it this way to me. I'm just gonna put them in here to stop the cooking process immediately instead of having them sit and continue to cook while I switch the water in the pot. all submerged. So I'm gonna let these sit for a little bit. So 
towels ready to put them on so they can dry. Stir these a little bit. The eggs have been sitting in here for a while. They don't feel warm to the touch or anything, so we're gonna start taking them out. I'll let them dry a little bit. I'm gonna get this and that pot out of my way. So we're gonna move these back a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. I'm so dumb. <laughs> I'm so dumb. So next I have to peel the eggs and place them into a bowl. I hate trying to peel these. I really do. There we go. Alright, one more. As I said, I'm not making two sandwiches, so I only need three eggs instead of six. That one peeled so easy. Oh, now I have to mash the eggs. Where did I put my fork? I don't usually use three whole eggs for an egg sandwich anyway, so it's fine. It says add mayonnaise, two tablespoons, but this is for two sandwiches, so we're gonna just chop that in half and do one tablespoon, one teaspoon of curry powder. Next is for the curry powder. This is a brand new thing. I literally got this just for this video. So this better be good. Yes, yeah, salt and pepper. Like, hold on that. This smells good. Those little salt shakers, I was surprised. I... Hello to you too, cat. A plate. Okay, we got our white bread. In this order. Bread, egg mixture, lettuce, bread. Go ahead and put this on here. I'm not gonna put all of it. That's a lot. It's just gonna sandwich. fall. Yeah, it's gonna fall apart. Okay. Then we're gonna put some of our lettuce. it in half. There we go. We have our egg sandwich. That's pretty good. Want to type it? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. It's good. That's pretty good. Another good forum recipe. Considering we're all gamers and never touch grass, I'd say we're pretty good cooks. <laughs> now I'll see you in a year when I do the next forum <laughs> recipe. Bye.